Hitler knew that if he expanded his posture and put out a symbolic weapon, he would rouse the audience to feel that strong emotion of danger and anger. Examine this interesting compilation that reveals rarely seen photos providing an odd window into Adolf Hitler's personal life. These unorthodox photos show him at times when he is not the person he presents himself to be, offering an unsettling and fascinating look at the man who is behind one of the most infamous people in history. Hitler, sitting on a sled. Behold Hitler, an enigma in solitude atop a sled amidst pristine snow. Clad in knee-high socks and a distinguished hat, his expression betrays a sense of unamusement, offering a rare glimpse into the private persona of the notorious leader. This peculiar tableau invites speculation into the mind of a man often shrouded in darkness, revealing an unexpected facet of his character. This strange moment, frozen in time, defies expectations and makes us wonder about the man behind the historical figure. Examining the peculiarities in these candid shots makes us wonder about the complexity of Hitler's mental state and adds another nuance to the mysterious picture of his legacy. Hitler practicing hate speeches. Explore the clandestine world of Adolf Hitler through these seldom seen photographs, capturing the dictator practicing his infamous hate speeches. Unwanted and embarrassing to Hitler, these rare images offer a glimpse into his vanity and insecurities as he grappled with the fear of looking foolish during his performances. Despite being a master of propaganda, Hitler's personal photographer, Heinrich Hoffmann, captured these revealing moments, providing a unique perspective on the dictator's quest for a powerful presence. Ordered to destroy the photos, Hoffmann's refusal sheds light on Hitler's desperate attempts to control his image. Journey back to 1924, post the Beer Hall Putsch and Hitler's nine months in Landsberg jail, where he penned Mein Kampf. Emerging with a conviction that oratory triumphs over the written word, Hitler, just months after his release, meticulously practiced his speaking skills in front of a mirror. German dictator Adolf Hitler dines with Mistress Eva Braun. Delve into the obscure chapter of Adolf Hitler's life as we unveil the intriguing story of his taste testers, 15 young German women living on the edge of danger during the 1940s. Employed against their will, these women risked their lives daily, tasked with sampling every morsel that graced Hitler's plate to ensure it was poison-free. Inspired by this little-known troupe, the off-Broadway show Hitler's Tasters sheds light on their perilous existence. Playwright Michelle Kolos Brooks captures the drama of young women bound together by the fear of death with each meal. Margot Walk, one of the taste testers, recounted her harrowing experience, revealing the conflicting emotions of savoring exquisite meals in the midst of war-induced scarcity. Enduring the fear of potential poisoning, they ate under the watchful eyes of the SS. Welk, a non-Nazi, survived the ordeal but faced further trauma after fleeing the approaching Soviet army. A risky move saved her life, but the tragic fate of her fellow testers unfolded tragically at the hands of the Soviets. The narrative unravels the extraordinary tales of these unsung heroines and the price they paid for a taste of survival amid the horrors of World War II. Hitler wear shorts. Dive into the peculiar fashion tastes of Adolf Hitler, a facet often overshadowed by the gravitas of history. Behind closed doors, Hitler displayed an unexpected fondness for dressing up, spending lavishly on his attire. The rare snapshot captures him in a Japanese kimono, a stark departure from his familiar military regalia. During the 1930s, novelty items featuring Hitler's image were surprisingly common in pre-World War II Germany, reflecting a bizarre trend of the time. Notoriously effeminate body language fueled speculations about Hitler's personal life, with rumors suggesting tendencies that challenged the conventional image of the dictator. This particular image, banned from early Nazi propaganda, adds a layer of intrigue to Hitler's enigmatic persona. Explore the uncharted territories of Hitler's wardrobe choices, offering a glimpse into the complexities of the man who left an indelible mark on history. Adolf Hitler in Japanese kimono. Examine the mystery surrounding a recently found photo 
that casts doubt on the widely accepted portrayal of Adolf Hitler. The Nazi leader looks to be departing from his usual manner in this strange photo by donning a Japanese kimono with a swastika on it, instead of his military uniform. Photographed in the 1930s, the image presents Hitler in an unexpected light, with a solemn yet strangely humorous attitude. It is thought to honor the international agreement signed in 1936 by Nazi Germany and Japan. However, its precise history is still unknown. The Nazi party actively used a variety of objects to spread their national socialist emblem at this time, unveiling rare images banned by Hitler himself, including an absurd pose on a log cabin veranda. These quirky snapshots, taken by Hitler's personal photographer Heinrich Hoffmann, offer a glimpse into the lesser-known eccentricities of the wartime leader's private world. Flowers for the Fuhrer in Landsberg Prison Discover a new perspective on Adolf Hitler's brief stint in Landsberg Prison in 1924 through recently unearthed historical documents. Contrary to the typical portrayal of harsh incarceration, Hitler enjoyed relative comfort and even held court with the prison management's consent. Described as reasonable, frugal, and modest, Hitler, still an aspiring agitator, exhibited exemplary behavior, submitting willingly to all restrictions. The prison records, set for auction, provide insights into Hitler's network organization during his time in captivity. The material includes 300 visitor cards and correspondence, shedding light on his connections. From Erich Ludendorff to Rudolf Hess, prominent figures frequented Hitler, shaping the genesis of his leadership. This revelation offers a unique glimpse into the defining period that influenced Hitler's future prominence in German history and the creation of his infamous work, Mein Kampf. Hitler staged a coup and went to prison. Delve into the centenary of Adolf Hitler's failed coup, a crucial episode preceding his rise to power. In a surprising turn of events, Hitler and his accomplices found themselves convicted of high treason on April 1st. Despite the severity of the charge, Hitler received a remarkably light sentence of five years in prison, later reduced to just nine months. Contemporary historians highlight the amateurish nature of these early coup efforts, underscoring the crucial lessons Hitler derived from his failure. The pivotal realization was to shift tactics. If force couldn't capture Weimar Germany, Hitler resolved to persuade the people through the politics of legality. This marked the beginning of a strategic shift towards using the electoral process to undermine democracy, a tactic that would later define the Nazi party's ascent to power. Beer Hall Putsch Marking the 100th anniversary of the 1923 Beer Hall Putsch, Adolf Hitler and Erich Ludendorff's failed revolt against the Weimar Republic. This pivotal pre-power moment reflects the Weimar Republic's struggles amid left and right threats, mirroring the turbulence of the Russian Revolution. The early 1920s witnessed a Germany grappling with violence and terror. As the Cap Putsch unfolded, the Republic faced dangers from the right, culminating in Bavaria's political turmoil. The refusal to disband paramilitary groups and conflicts with the central government escalated tensions. Bavaria's attempt to evade Reich security measures set the stage for future confrontations. The occupation of the Ruhr by French and Belgian troops in 1923 further plunged Germany into economic chaos. Mass arrests, deportations, and an economic blockade fueled the currency depreciation. The social fabric unraveled, impacting the middle classes, pensioners, and working classes alike. This snapshot captures a tumultuous period in German history, setting the backdrop and the challenges that followed. Nazi Party Discover the difficult journey of the Nazi Party, a big group led by Adolf Hitler, who followed National Socialism. The party, founded in 1933, left a lasting legacy of authoritarianism and the Holocaust as the result of its fundamental anti-Semitic ideology. It reigned until 1945. The 1919 founded German Workers' Party became the National Socialist German Workers' Party by 1920 under Hitler's charismatic leadership. Hitler's arrest and a short ban followed the bold but failed attempt at taking control that was the Beer Hall Putsch of 1923. Post-release, Hitler navigated legal means for political ascent, witnessing a surge in membership amid the Great Depression. Taking advantage of the mass unemployment, the Nazi Party became increasingly popular winning 38% of the vote in the Reichstag in 1932. In 1933, Hitler consumed politics role to become prime minister, and that gave him more power when the enabling it laws were enacted. This fascinating journey shows how the Nazi party started small and grew to great political power. 
Rise of Fascism Germany and Italy were both affected by the rise of fascism during the turbulent interwar years. Following its fall from grace, Germany was ruled by the charismatic Adolf Hitler and the National Socialist German Workers' Party, Nazis, which promoted a nationalist and anti-Semitic agenda that resulted in the Holocaust and World War II. Enthusiastic nationalist Hitler took advantage of post-war unrest by accusing Jews of influence, a global conspiracy, and incompetent leadership for Germany's defeat. His 1923 putsch failed, landing him in jail where he penned Mein Kampf, solidifying his beliefs. After electoral success during the Great Depression, Hitler became chancellor in 1933, swiftly consolidating power through propaganda and ruthless measures. Hitler's ambitions expanded with the rearmament of Germany, territorial annexations, and alliances with Mussolini. The Munich Pact in 1938 appeased Hitler, emboldening his aggression. World War II ensued, marked by Hitler's genocidal pursuit, leading to the systematic annihilation of millions. The grim chapter closed only with Hitler's 1945 suicide, leaving a devastating legacy. Coffee with Hitler Delving into the eccentricities of history's figures, let's explore Adolf Hitler's unexpected affinity for tea. In a 1938 column titled Tea with Hitler, writer jean marie Ducan recounts her meeting with the dictator at Haus Wachenfeld. Picture Hitler, not as the menacing figure we know, but with red cheeks, a hearty handshake, a genuine smile, invigorated by mountain air. Hitler took his tea the Russian way, with lemon and no milk. While Russians of the time added sugar cubes to their tea, it's unclear if Hitler followed suit. In the photo, he is unmistakably indulging in this unexpected pastime. The glimpse into Hitler's leisurely moments, especially sipping tea, adds an eerie layer to our understanding of this historical figure. Hitler met Hoover. Presidential encounters with dictators have a storied history, including Herbert Hoover's unconventional meeting with Adolf Hitler in 1938. Five years after his presidency, Hoover engaged in a 40-minute conversation with Hitler at the Reich Chancellery in Berlin, discussing personal liberty. Hoover, known for his humanitarian efforts, later denounced the Nazis' disregard for life and justice, but advocated U.S. neutrality in European conflicts. Hitler argued Germany's inability to afford such liberties compared to resource-rich America. This peculiar rendezvous sheds light on diplomatic complexities, reminiscent of Franklin Roosevelt's wartime meetings with Joseph Stalin. From Tehran to Yalta, these encounters aimed to coordinate efforts against Germany, but revealed the delicate dance between concessions and conflicting post-war interests. Sonja Haney and Adolf Hitler In the world of figure skating, Sonja Haney is celebrated as a three-time European Championships medalist. Yet, a tweet from Finnish skater Kira Korpi hints at an upcoming biopic, Queen of Ice, shedding light on Haney's tumultuous life. The film draws inspiration from the biography Queen of Ice, Queen of Shadows, portraying Haney, considered the greatest figure skater in a less flattering light. Accusations of Nazi collaboration or sympathy, a lavish lifestyle criticized by Norwegians, and diminished esteem in her homeland color the narrative. A 1993 profile exploring Haney's complex legacy reveals the reticence of Norwegians to discuss her, emphasizing the multifaceted tale awaiting discovery in the upcoming movie, calling time on Hitler's hoax. A famed 90-year-old photograph capturing Adolf Hitler's release from Landsberg Prison in 1924 continues to deceive. The image, symbolizing Hitler's return to the public eye, showcases him beside a medieval gate. However, the gate depicted is not part of the prison, but the Bayertor, located a kilometer away. Hitler's photographer, Heinrich Hoffmann, faced restrictions at the prison, leading to this orchestrated switch. Hoffmann admitted choosing the Bayertor for its fortress atmosphere a subtle manipulation that fooled the press worldwide. This minor historical distortion highlights a broader theme, Hitler's early mastery of image management. Despite being a petty fiction, Hoffman's 1924 deception endures, illustrating the enduring power of Nazi propaganda, prompting a call to relegate this misleading piece of history to oblivion. Adolf Hitler gives a speech at a rally of the National Socialists in Lustgarten, next to the Berliner Palace. 95 years ago, on February 24, 1920, Adolf Hitler unveiled the Nazi party platform in Munich, a moment pivotal to the rise of Nazism. While the German Workers' Party, later Nazis, existed earlier, this event crystallized their goals, 
emphasizing exclusion and control of non-Germans, notably Jews. Hitler's oratory prowess, honed after World War I, drew crowds. Joining the anti-Semitic precursor to the Nazi party, Hitler swiftly became its chief propagandist. He blamed Jews for Germany's woes and called for their irrevocable removal. Recognizing the power of spoken words, Hitler crafted an inflammatory speaking style that echoed through history. Germany, awake! This episode marked a turning point, setting the stage for Hitler's ascent to Nazi power. Adolf Hitler's Cabinet Adolf Hitler's ascent to power marked the creation of the Hitler Cabinet in 1933, a government steering Nazi Germany until 1945. Crafted by Franz von Papen, the Cabinet's formation revealed strategic political moves, reserving the Vice-Chancellor role for Papen. Initially named the Reich Cabinet of National Salvation, it blended Nazi and conservative elements. Hitler's dictatorship began, succeeding his release from prison in 1924, with the cabinet functioning on emergency powers. The Enabling Act of 1933 concentrated legislative power in Hitler's hands, cementing his role as dictator. Over time, the cabinet's meetings dwindled, and ad hoc agencies and influential figures like Goering and Goebbels gained prominence, reflecting Hitler's evolving political landscape. Hitler visits his parents' grave in 1938. In 1898, Nine-year-old Adolf Hitler settled with his family in Leonding, Austria, a town near Linz, where his father Alois retired after serving the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The family lived at number 16 Michaelsbergstrasse, a two-story brick house. Alois aimed for Adolf to join the customs service, triggering heated disputes. In this house, young Hitler faced personal tragedy when his brother Edmund died in 1900 from measles, deepening Adolf's moroseness. Alois's sudden death in 1903 intensified the family's turmoil. Hitler's mother Clara relocated the family to Steyr. The Leonding House, tied to Hitler's poignant childhood, stands today as a historical reminder of a complex and tumultuous past. Adolf Hitler's Messiah Complex studied in secret British intelligence report. In a covert wartime analysis from 1942, British intelligence delved into Adolf Hitler's psyche uncovering his deepening fear of defeat and escalating hatred towards the Jewish population. Recently discovered by Cambridge University researcher Scott Anthony, the report exposes Hitler's belief in a messiah-like role and a crusade against the Jews. As the tide turned against Germany, Hitler's paranoia grew, focusing on an internal enemy. The report marked Secret and authored by academic Joseph McCurdy dissected Hitler's radio speech revealing a decline in his charismatic delivery, but an alarming rise in paranoia. This historical document, shedding light on Hitler's deteriorating mental state, adds a poignant layer to the understanding of that era. The ugly and tragic relationship between Hitler and his niece. Put an end to planned protests and shaky parades. Explore the disturbing details of Hitler's personal life, including his dysfunctional relationship with his niece, Gaily Raubal, who is 17 years old. After working as a housekeeper at first, Gailey developed into Hitler's harbinger, attending Nazi gatherings and soaking up his adoring gaze. But this uncle-niece bond morphed into a twisted prison. Hitler's possessiveness choked Gailey's dreams, isolating her from friends and crushing her aspirations of becoming a singer. Whispers of a forbidden romance swirled as Hitler's jealous rages became notorious. This dark chapter exposes a horrifying facet of Hitler's psyche a dictator fueled by twisted desires and suffocating control. Hitler emerged from glass photo negatives. In a chilling revelation, haunting images of Adolf Hitler have emerged from meticulously restored glass photo negatives, shedding new light on the dictator's early public life. The ghostly images, dating back to 1923, showcase Hitler in an upholstered armchair with his German shepherd, presenting an eerie likeness at the age of 34. Digitized from Heinrich Hoffmann's trove of 41,000 glass negatives, Hitler's personal photographer, the images offer unmatched quality. The digitization reveals a meticulous recreation of the original negatives, providing clarity unseen before. As plans unfold to make these images public, they illuminate a sinister side of Nazi propaganda, crafting Hitler's benevolent image. The restoration project unravels a historical puzzle, capturing Hitler's early persona and the artistry behind the creation of his Fuhrer image. While we explored some peculiar private photos of Hitler, 
it's crucial to remember the atrocities he committed. Understanding history helps us prevent such events in the future. Subscribe for more historical insights. Until next time, stay informed and stay aware.